Hello, this is the Smokers Quit Line. How can I help you? Hi, I've been thinking about quitting smoking, but I'm not sure where to begin. It's great that you're thinking about quitting. It can be hard to quit, but the Quit Line is here to help you succeed. Most people who smoke want to quit. If you've tried before, you know just how challenging it can be. But did you know that smokers who get help are more likely to be successful than those who try to quit on their own? That's what Quit Lines are all about. Quitlines provide confidential coaching to help you become and stay smoke-free. So how does a quitline work? It all starts with your desire to quit smoking and a phone call. I've tried to quit smoking a bunch of times on my own, but haven't been able to stop for good. So now I'm ready to try something different. Well, for lots of people, calling a quitline is what they need. When you're ready, I can help you build a plan for quitting, talk to you about medications that might help, and tell you about free tools and resources you can use to quit smoking. What do you think? Would that work for you? So, you're my quick coach today? How does that work? I'm one of the people you'll work with. I'm here to answer your questions and offer strategies to help you quit based on what you need to be successful and what we know works. How much does all of this cost? Quitline services are free for callers. And we have lots of resources to help you. So, if you're ready, we can start talking about setting a quit date. Sure, but I'd like to know, is what we talk about private? Do you share any of what I say with my insurance or my job? Everything we discuss is completely confidential. An exception would be if you mentioned an emergency or crisis that was a clear danger to you or someone else. What if I can't do it? I don't want people to think I'm a failure if I try, but I can't quit. Most people try to quit several times before they succeed. The most important thing is to try again. Quitting smoking is hard, but it's possible and quit lines can help you succeed. Every person who calls the quit line has a different story, life situation, and challenge. So there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. You think you could help someone like me who's tried to quit at least five or six times? Don't worry. We work with people every day who've tried to quit several times before. When you're trying to quit smoking, you will likely experience cravings or urges to smoke. The good news is that quit line coaches have the knowledge and experience to help you manage them and get you through to the other side. When I've tried to quit before, certain things have always tripped me up, like my first cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah, morning coffee can be a big trigger for people. So let's start by making a plan to help you get through that morning coffee without a cigarette. Could you change up your routine and have your coffee somewhere else? Cravings can be very intense, but they don't usually last a long time. We can help you figure out ways to keep yourself busy until the cravings go away. There are many different approaches to quitting smoking, and most people find that a combination of tools works best. A lot of those tools are available for free. For example, you can use texting programs, online tips and information, or mobile apps like Quit Start. Your coach can give you a list of other resources to help you quit. Nicotine replacement therapy, or NRT, which usually comes in the form of patches, gum, and lozenges, gives you a small controlled dose of nicotine. It can reduce withdrawal symptoms and cravings and has helped a lot of people when used as directed. You may be able to get a starter kit of NRT from your state quit line. Your doctor may also prescribe medications to help you quit smoking. One thing I hate about smoking is that feeling of being out of control, like this thing has total power over me, even when I can see how it's affecting my health. Smoking is a physical addiction, but also there may be daily routines or emotions that you associate with smoking. For example, do you always smoke right after you start your car? Yeah, I do. And I reach for a smoke when I'm feeling stressed. Yep, that's the emotional part. Let's talk about some ways to attack each of the situations that make you want to smoke. Okay, makes sense. We love it when we get a call from someone who's gone from a smoker to a former smoker. It's like high fives all around. What's great about the quit line is that they help you prepare to tackle tough days when you may feel like you just can't do it anymore. When I needed extra help, they were there for me. They didn't judge me. They just helped me find ways to improve my plan to quit smoking. I feel so much better since I quit smoking. 
I never thought I could do it. And my family is so happy that I finally quit for good. If you're thinking about quitting smoking and would like some help, a quit line might be just what you need to succeed. Ready for your own quit line success story? Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW or visit cdc.gov quit to get started.